Welcome back to the InfraVision channel and thanks for tuning in. Today we're taking a look at the Fumi development updates for week number 26. And the first update is related to the availability percentage that is mentioned in the SLA that is applicable to the Fumi Premium versions. And currently in that service offering an availability of 99.8% is guaranteed and as we all know Fumi is a very reliable service. So the availability has been extremely high the last years and that is why Fumi is now confident enough to upgrade that availability percentage to 99.95%. And of course that availability alone is already remarkable, but it is even more remarkable that that increase in guaranteed availability does not come with a price increase. The next update is the possibility to create custom views for workflows. Now you might ask why would you do that? So let's look at an example. So when we go to the settings console, you search for custom views. There's a possibility to create so-called custom views that you can use for populating selections or dropdowns in UI extensions. So for example, you want to create a request template in where your specialists can select a, a change or a workflow that has been causing a certain incident. And to populate the dropdown in where your specialists will select the causing change, what you need is a so-called custom view. So I already created a custom view, but when you create one from scratch, you click the plus sign, you select a record type. So in this case, it is workflows. So that's the new one. You can already predefine a state. So do you want to list open or completed or maybe both? And you can also set some additional filters. So you can basically determine which workflows are displayed in your dropdown. So the next step would then be to create a UI extension using that custom view. So you create a new UI extension or you open the existing one in edit mode. You select the custom suggest option, give the label and an ID and in the custom view, you can select the custom view that you just created, maybe indicate that populating anything in this field is required. You can set it to internal, searchable, filterable. So all the options that you think are necessary in your case, and then click save and activate and your UI extension is ready for use in a template. So for this example, I created a request template that is linked to the expense reporting service. So as soon as we select that service, we see that there's an incident caused by change template available. So when I click that template, you see that my UI extension is visible here. And in here, I can just link the causing change. So this is the change that is causing this incident. The next update is the possibility to completely disable configuration management in a certain account. So when you go to the settings console account settings, you see that the option configuration management is of course enabled by default, but as soon as you uncheck this box, that basically means that you completely remove the configuration management functionality from this account. And that might be useful if you are planning to use this account for non IT or non asset management related purposes. So in our demo environment, we can log in into the following account. For example, an HR related account, which Europe HR, the person that is the account owner here is Stacy Winter. So when we go to the account settings, we see that configuration management is disabled. So that means as soon as we open a request, we will immediately see that the configuration item field is removed from the form. And the skeptics amongst us might argue that the reason why we don't see any configuration item fields here is because there are no configuration items linked to the actual service instance, because in those cases you will not see the configuration item field either. But just to show you that it really works, let's click on the service instance, open the detail view, and we see that there is actually a configuration item linked to this service. So we could use this configuration item still for reservation purposes, but it is not selectable in any assignment. The next update is a small but already very useful announcement of the virtual assistant. Previously, the virtual assistant first returned knowledge articles 
and only if the user indicated that that didn't help, then it would look for request templates that are relevant to the search criteria of the person. Now that might be from a cost perspective the most obvious way because basically using knowledge articles doesn't cost the service organization anything and requests still need to be followed up. But from an end user perspective, this was experienced as a bit annoying because it basically required two steps to get to the information that you were looking for. So in the new situation where you search for something and there are both request templates and knowledge articles that are relevant for your search criteria, they are now returned in one shot rather than in two separate steps. The next update is a small enhancement of the Google Maps functionality that you could use in UI extensions. And the improvement is that by default this widget will now show you your current location unless you blocked access to your location in your browser or your operating system of course, which I did. Uh, but if those restrictions are not there, then this widget will immediately point to your current location, which of course makes a lot of sense if you are using this functionality to register incidents that are related to your current location. And the last update is a new filter option in views that are related to request templates. Now I switched to our QA environment because this filter is not available in my demo environment yet for some reason. But if you are looking at request templates, it might be very useful to see where a certain UI extension was used. So that is now possible. There's a filter which is called UI extension. And we have that many UI extensions in our QA environment that listing apparently is not an option. So we have to do a search first. And as soon as we found something, we can of course filter the list on uh, that specific UI extension. And that concludes the overview for the updates of the current week. As always, thanks a lot for your time, have a great week and see you in the next one.